I'm back, and it's time to discuss more Paso Robles neighborhoods. Today we have five neighborhoods to go over. Let's get right into it. We're going to start out talking about a couple of in-town neighborhoods, and then we're going to head just outside the city limits to neighborhoods with a bit larger parcels, but still within 10 to 15 minutes of town. And then we'll finish up by discussing what you'll find in the more ranchy areas in the more rural east side of Paso. First up is Deer Park, which is a very neighborhoody neighborhood with awesome views in every direction. Conveniently close to shopping centers and the Kennedy Fitness Center right there at the bottom of the hill. Deer Park gives you a nice blend of peace and accessibility. You'll find regular sized city blocks, sidewalks, and of course a friendly vibe. Part of the charm of this neighborhood is that if you're not on your way to or from home, there's really no reason to be passing through this neighborhood. It's just out of the way enough that you should only see your neighbors out and about. The daily commute is pretty easy. Just hop on the 101 via the nearby Niblick Bridge, or if you're in a little bit less of a hurry, take the back route to Templeton, which really covers about the same distance in about the same amount of time. Most homes in Deer Park are pretty cozy, with square footage ranging from about 1,600 square feet all the way up to around 3,400 square feet, and lot sizes ranging from between 5,000 square feet and half an acre. Most houses come with three to four bedrooms and two to three bathrooms. And the neighborhood is hooked up to city utilities, so no need to worry about details about wells and septic systems. Our second neighborhood is Meadowlark, which is situated just on the east side of town, a little bit further out near the city limit. The neighborhood features a mix of mostly two-story homes with three to five bedrooms and two to four baths. You'll generally find lots that range from about 5,000 square feet and on up to about a quarter of an acre. Home sizes vary from approximately 1,500 square feet to well over 3,000 square feet. Meadowlark homes are generally priced a little bit lower than Deer Park because you're a little further away from the 101 in the downtown area. But Meadowlark does provide some easy access the daily amenities like grocery stores, coffee shops, and Planet Fitness is just about a mile away. And if you happen to have a set of golf clubs, dogs, or kids that need regular outings, then you'll appreciate being nearby the Oak Creek Park, the Sherwood Dog Park, and the Pastor Wolves Golf Club. And just like Deer Park, city utilities make the purchase process just a little less complicated. Number three, Jardine. Jardine is just about six miles east of downtown and just north of Highway 46. This neighborhood boasts proximity to awesome places like the Lynx Golf Course, the Sensorial Field of Light, and Vina Robles. And if you haven't heard of these things, use the Google machine. You're in a great spot out here in Jardine. The parcels out there range from one to two acres and offer flat to rolling terrain you'll find serene country views and often be able to catch both sunrise and sunset, if not right from your house, on a nearby country road walk. Access may involve a bit of dirt and paved roads and even some mud in the wet seasons. And this can either add a little bit of a fun element to your country living experience or be that final straw that makes you choose a different neighborhood. You'll find a mix of single level and two story homes with mostly three to four bedrooms and two to three baths which offers another relatively affordable housing option. Jardine is the main road into the neighborhood and it does get its fair share of traffic as it's the main access to large ranch properties out in Northeast Paso and a substantial part of San Miguel. You'll also see a little bit of air traffic out here circling around throughout the day since the regional airport is just off to the west there. And no city utilities out here. Well and septic is the jam. Our fourth neighborhood is Geneseo, which is about 10 miles east of downtown and just a few miles south of Highway 46. This neighborhood is characterized by rolling and sometimes quite steep hills, offering amazing views of the hills to the west and sometimes for the more desirable properties, nice vineyard views. Picture yourself living on lots from one to two acres with homes with three to five bedrooms and two to three baths. Geneseo is a bit further from town compared to Jardine, and with its hilly topography offering those stunning views, the price point tends to be just a little bit higher out there. While Geneseo lacks amenities, it makes up for it with a variety of farm animals. Not only are you going to find chickens and pigs, but you're also going to find cows, horses, sheep, creating a really unique rural atmosphere. The community here is distinct. It's not your typical neighborhoody type vibe. Out here, folks are seeking space. And the old saying, good fences make good neighbors, rings true. 
And by that, we mean folks are looking to get away from it all by moving out there, not necessarily looking to make new friends. It's a relatively private feel with almost zero through traffic. Geneseo is free from businesses and schools, instead focusing on open space and the soothing sounds of nature. All the properties out here are on well and septic, so you're going to want to learn how to interpret those kinds of inspections. Our fifth and final neighborhood is just simply the rural east side. These areas are characterized by lots ranging from five acres to hundreds of acres. And the homes you'll find range literally from converted barns to luxury vineyard and equestrian estates. If you have the time and resources necessary to invest in the country lifestyle, there are not many regions in California that are better to do so than right here in rural East Paso. We represented the buyers on this property here on Airport Road back in 2022, and it represents the mid-range of luxury residential ranches. It sold for just over $2 million and offered a gorgeous 3,000 square foot residence with a 2,200 square foot shop, over 30 acres of wine grapes under contract, and sitting on a beautiful, usable 40 acre lot. Well, thanks for watching. And if you've enjoyed the content in this video and made it all the way to the end here with me, then please do like and subscribe. And check out the description for our relocation guide with more information about what it's like living on the Central Coast of California.